Welcome to AZ Superbox. In today's video, we're thrilled to unveil the top 5 best SCAR audio car amplifiers that are set to redefine your in-car sound experience. These amplifiers have been carefully curated to offer unparalleled power, precision, and audio quality, elevating your driving moments to a new auditory dimension. It's important to note that the amplifiers discussed in this video are not ranked in any particular order. For those seeking an audio upgrade that marries innovation and performance, or those who are simply craving a more immersive audio experience on the road. These SCAR audio amplifiers provide a diverse array of options to meet your sound desires. These amplifiers are engineered with cutting-edge technology to unlock the full potential of your car's sound system. Our selection criteria encompass factors such as power output, sound clarity, design aesthetics, and customer satisfaction. Whether you're drawn to amplifiers that effortlessly blend with your car's interior or powerhouses that command attention, our top 5 picks cater to a variety of preferences and audio profiles. Rest assured, our commitment to excellence ensures these amplifiers not only deliver outstanding power but also seamlessly integrate into your car's audio setup. They offer an immersive listening experience that's both user-friendly and dynamic. To gain a comprehensive overview of the top 5 best SCAR audio car amplifiers showcased in this video, we encourage you to explore the links provided in the video description below. There you'll discover comprehensive pricing information and additional insights about each amplifier model. For those seeking a more comprehensive analysis and a direct comparison, be sure to visit our website at azsuperbox.com. Our website features in-depth reviews and invaluable insights to help you choose the perfect amplifier for your car audio aspirations. Without further ado, let's embark on this thrilling expedition to explore the top 5 best SCAR audio car amplifiers and identify the amplifier that perfectly aligns with your sonic preferences and power requirements. If you find this video helpful, consider subscribing to our channel to remain updated on our latest content. Your support encourages us to continue delivering informative tech reviews and recommendations. Now, let's dive into the world of exceptional car audio. Hey, this is Shane with Scar Audio. We're going to be doing some amp dyno runs today on our RP series amplifiers. First amplifier is the RP. 800.1D. We have it hooked up to the SMD amp dyno, the 81. It's all wired up, so we're just going to see what kind of power we get. Okay, we're going to do a certified dyno run at 1 ohm. Resting voltage is 14.9. Start the track now. Okay, we got 906 watts at 1 ohm. Voltage was 14.24. Okay, we're gonna do the uncertified dyno run. That's at 1 ohm. Resting voltage is 14.89. Start the track. Okay, it did a uh, thousand sixty eight watts at one ohm. Voltage was fourteen point four two. Okay, we're going to do the dynamic. Power burst run at 1 ohm. Resting voltage is 14.5. Start the track. Okay, we're at 1226 watts at 1 ohm. Voltage was 14.26.
guys, how's it going? Kevin Schlenker, CEO and founder of Scar Audio here. Today is February 1st. We're just going to be doing a quick dyno today of our ever so popular RP1200.1 monoblock amplifier. I've got it here as well as here. As you can see, it's hooked up to our amp dyno. We are ready to run. I just wanted to point out a few quick highlights of this amplifier and, you know, a few of the many reasons why it's so popular. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive in. I did open up another RP1200 here for reference. We could talk about it, point out a couple of the features real quick before we jump into the amp dyno and the 1200.1 that's hooked up behind me. So four gauge power and ground input terminals on the user control panel side. You're going to have your power and protect indicator lights, RCA connection terminals. Next up, we're going to have our EQ base switch. So you're going to have zero, six and 12 decibel ratings there. Next, you're going to have your gain control, low pass filter and your subsonic filter controls. So, you know, all the features that you need, um, stable at one ohm, 1000 watt, 1500 watt system, you're going to be perfect running this amplifier. All right, guys, so here we go. We're going to jump into dynoing this RP1200.1 monoblock amplifier. Again, one ohm stable daily, great for powering a system between 1000 and 1500 watts, four gauge power and ground input terminals. I mean, this is the definition of a daily driver amplifier. So without further ado, we're going to start with a certified one ohm dyno test, and then we're going to move on to a dynamic test, also known as more of a burst power test for those peak output ratings. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with our certified dyno run at a one ohm load on the RP1200. This is going to be clean, true power output. Here we go. And there you have it. So you guys can see 1,213 watts at 13.76 volts. Uh, amplifiers are typically rated at 14.4, so definitely getting well over 1,200 watts as it's rated at that one ohm load. As you can see, a little under 14 volts, so very impressive output. All right, so now we're going to jump into our dynamic or AKA burst power test on the dyno and a SCAR Audio RP1200.1 at one ohm. Go ahead and starting the test now. If you watch your screen, you're going to want to watch this number as it fluctuates. It's running the test. Here we go. Still running. Great. So now the test is finished. As you can see on your screen, 1,695 watts at a one ohm load at 13.76 volts. Uh, typically, manufacturers are rated at 14.4, like I already mentioned. And, uh, you know, for a burst power test, 1,695 watts is very impressive out of a 1,200 watt rated amplifier. So, uh, very high quality amplifier, one ohm daily stable, can't go wrong, RP1200.1. Thanks for watching. Hey, it's Shane with Scar Audio. We're going to be doing some amp dyno runs today on our RP series amplifiers. Today we have the new RP 2000.1D. This is our one ohm stable monoblock amplifier. Also want to point out that this does have one odd inputs. So we're going to be running our amp dyno, the SMD AD1. We're going to be doing certified, uncertified, and dynamic power. So what we'll do next is just get it wired up and see what kind of power we get out of it. Okay, we're going to do the certified dyno run at 1 ohm. Resting voltage is 15.07. Starting the track. Okay, 2,274 watts at 1 ohm, voltage was at 14.33. Okay, we're doing the uncertified dyno run at 1 ohm, resting voltage is 15.03. Starting the track, now. Okay, we did 2,431 watts at 1 ohm, voltage is a little bit low at 14.07. Okay, we're going to do the dynamic power burst run at 1 ohm, 
Voltage is 14.85. Start the track. Okay, 3,107 watts at 1 ohm. The voltage is 14.50. Alright guys, we're here today at the Scardio headquarters. We're going to be doing an amp dyno test on the Scardio SKV2 1500.1D monoblock amplifier. This is a competition grade amp, one watt inputs, stable at 1 ohm daily, just a really badass overall amplifier. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to be jumping into the amp dyno test on our SMD81 and show you what this thing can do on certified, uncertified, and dynamic burst power runs. Alright, so like I said, we're going to go ahead and start with the certified dyno run on the SKV2 1500. And we're going to do that at a 1 ohm impedance load. Scroll over here to 1 ohm, select it. Now we're going to go ahead and begin our test. So you can go ahead and watch your screen there. Again, this is a certified run at 1 ohm. So as you can see on your display, 1,556 watts at that 1 ohm load, 13.92 volts. Obviously, uh, conservatively rated at 14.4 SKV2 1500, you can see it's doing more than rated power at a lesser than 14.4 voltage load. So, very successful dyno test. We're going to go ahead and move on to the uncertified test next. Stay tuned. All right, guys, now we're moving on to our uncertified test on the SKV2 1500. So, we're going to go ahead and select that here on our amp dyno. We're going to do that at a 1 ohm load again. Ready to begin our dyno. Go ahead and click star. Now I'm going to run the track, which is a 40 hertz sign signal. So as you can see, the test is running. So following a very successful certified test over rated power, now the uncertified test is showing the same results. 1,697 watts at a 1 ohm load at 13.77 volts. So again, under the 14.4 rated and putting out quite a bit more than RMS power. Now we're going to go ahead and move on to our dynamic and final amp dyno test. All right, and last but not least, we're going to go ahead and jump into our final dynamic power run on the SKV2 1500 at a 1 ohm load. And what this test does is it measures peak power or burst power output of the amplifier. And a lot of you guys tend to, tend to like this one uh, more so than the others because, you know, this is that max power rating that you're looking for. So go ahead and start the dyno. We're going to start the track. And here you go, go ahead and watch your screen and it's going to send a, a burst signal, which is what it's showing now. Running, and it looks like the test is just about to finish. So, test is finished and we have 2,140 watts at that 1 ohm load. At just slightly less than rated voltage, uh, we got 14.23 in our test and, and like I said before, 14.4 is where they're rated. So quite a bit more power output than, than what we rate them at conservatively and uh, overall just a great class D monoblock amplifier. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more. Hey everybody, we're here at the Scardio headquarters today doing a product video on the SKV2 2500.1 Class D monoblock amplifier. A uh, very popular amplifier in the SKV2 series lineup just due to the sheer power output capabilities of it as well as the uh, somewhat relatively small footprint as you can see here with the heatsink and, uh, and whatnot. So behind it we have the packaging it comes in uh, just to kind of show you the size comparison uh, featuring very large 1.0 
power and ground terminal inputs, eight gauge speaker terminal outputs. Um, and now we're gonna go ahead and jump into the, the real world testing on the Amp Dyno, the SMD81, and show you what this thing can really put out at certified, uncertified, and dynamic power run tests. So go ahead and stay tuned and, and we look forward to showing you. All right, so we're here with the Scardio SKV2 2500. We're gonna go ahead and begin the dyno runs, starting with the certified run, as you can see here on your screen. Go ahead and select that. We're gonna be running this at a one ohm impedance load. As you can see, one ohm, select it. And we're ready to go ahead and start. I'm gonna go ahead and begin the track. So now if you watch your screen, this is gonna be a certified test at a one ohm load. All right guys, so as you can see, our test is finished with the SKV2 2500. Uh, we've achieved results of 2,537 watts at that one ohm impedance load with a voltage rating of 13.22. So, you know, overall, I'm very happy with the results of this test, putting out more than rated power. Uh, certified test is up to distortion or as we know, clipping. So, you know, 2,537 watts, obviously more than rated power, like I said, at a voltage rating of 13.22 less than 14.4, uh, so overall, very strong results. All right, now we're gonna be moving on to our uncertified test of the SKV2 2500 at that one ohm load. Go ahead and watch your screen as the test performs, make our selection of a one ohm impedance. And here we go, we're gonna go ahead and start the test now. This is gonna be a 40 hertz sign signal. As you can see on your screen, the test is performing. And it looks like our test is now complete. So we have final results of 2,604 watts at that one ohm load at 13.03 volts. So very strong uncertified results for the SKV2 2500. All right, now we're gonna be doing our last and final test with the SKV2 2500.1D. And that's going to be our dynamic run. A lot of you guys tend to like this one because it shows the peak or burst power output of this amplifier. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get that started out of one ohm load. If you see on your screen, all we're doing now is selecting the impedance load. And we're going to go ahead and begin the test now. So here we go, starting the track. Go ahead and watch your screen. So as you can see there, it's sending those signals to our SMD81. And the test is now complete. It looks like we have a final result of 3,108 watts at that one ohm impedance load with voltage of 13.88. So overall, very strong results coming from a 2,500 watt conservatively rated amplifier. As you can see, the 3,108 is far above that at a voltage that is lower than the 14.4 we rated on our site. So uh, this amplifier is not gonna let you down. Competition grade amp, uh, overall just very high performance amplifier. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for more.